Big news blitz coming up in the next hour. Red Beckman is our guest. I saw a story last week where Walgreens wouldn't develop photos of a man's gun collection for his insurance. Hey, you're supposed to take photos of your stereo, computer, stuff like that, guns. Just the image of a gun is now evil. With all the violence on TV, video games, police, that's all okay. But citizens with guns or the image of guns, they're trying to make it so taboo, but it's not working. Uh, this is New York Daily News. Laura Timoni fumes after her son, Patrick Nine, his dad's a cop, is busted for bringing a two-inch long toy gun, a plastic G.I. Joe gun for the G.I. Joe figure, and they're talking about kicking him out of school, arresting him, all this stuff. But the good news is people aren't buying into this mind control, just like they've demonized the militia. Red Beckman, you wrote Why the Militia. Explain to people what the militia really is. Is uh, the people being armed and able to defend themselves uh, from an oppressive government. I, I was just uh, looking through the book here, and I had a comment. Why the militia? And I said, for the same reasons we had in 1775. Uh, you remember the history of how the, the, the British general in Boston ordered the troops to go out to Lexington and confiscate the powder and, and the shot that the uh, patriots were uh, collecting, anticipating a war or a, a revolution, whatever. And uh, there's where the shot was fired, heard around the world. The same reasons. We've got the same reasons today that we had then. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, if, if you're not, if you haven't gotten yourself armed, my advice to you is do it and be part of this tremendous uh, operation that we've got going in this country to restore our lawful government. And uh, this detente, uh, if they hit us, we're, we're going to be equipped to hit them back. And we're going to hit them back a lot harder than they hit us. So uh, they better not be playing games with their false flags and all of that because uh, they don't know when. They're going to go just a little too far and and trigger uh, this reaction like we had in Concord Square back there in April 19th of 1775. And, and clearly, so clearly that spirit is there because there's a lot of people that have a sense of desperation. They're sick of it and they are ready. And I'm telling the establishment that, you know, they see the. 17 million guns that have been sold in the last 14 months. I'm telling you, we're trying to restrain the population, but there are a lot of people, especially a lot of people above 50 veterans, who just want to go ahead and fight. Clean and, out. Go uh, ahead. But uh, the book, uh, Why the Militia, uh, explains how uh, we can avoid having to go to that kind of, of um, uh, effort to restore lawful government, uh, it brings out very strong the grand jury and the and the petit jury, uh, the trial jury, and how they are to function. Uh, it talks about the Federal Reserve Bank. And by the way, when have you heard anybody talking about what happens to the Federal Reserve if we could abolish the Federal Reserve and if the assets of the Federal Reserve? was restored to the Treasury of the United States. Stop right there, Red. I'm going to twist your arm for five more because you brought that up. I want you to be able to flesh that out because remember what just happened in Iceland. They were telling the country they owed five times their entire wealth to the Bank of England and the Federal Reserve when they had run the scam on record to rob them. And when the public finally said no, the banks went, oh, look, we actually have the assets to pay this off. Stay there. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, into hour number four. Mark Dice, another devastating coup against the New World Order on one of the number one TV stations in California, reaching millions of people. A devastating guerrilla warfare info attack. And everybody can do what Mark Dice is doing, ladies and gentlemen. He will teach us 
he, he knows what he's doing. Just like I can teach you something, he can teach you something, you can teach me something. Uh, Red Beckman can teach us so much. All of us. I'm just an average guy from Dallas, Texas, who's red-blooded and loves freedom. And I found out about the New World Order and their own quotes and their plan. And I said, I'm not going to be a slave. And let me tell you something. If I thought I fought hard eight years ago when I had my first child with my wife, I began to fight even harder and uh, fully commit myself. I mean, I thought I was fighting hard before. Now I'm fighting for their life. I don't really care about my life. Uh, when you've been fighting this long and this hard and been persecuted like I have, Red Beckman's had his house bulldozed and he never even talks about all the persecution he's gone through. You get to the point where you don't even care. All that matters is justice. Red Beckman, finishing up here because you keep intriguing me, you were pointing out what would happen under the comprehensive annual financial reports and the double set of books. Uh, the bankers are fabulously wealthy. They have more wealth than all the nations combined. If we take their fraudulent wealth, that would fix all of our problems and put dividend bank accounts for everybody. That's how much wealth they've stolen. Uh, well, let me let me say this. There's very few people uh, that have understood this. I explained this to uh, uh, our friend uh, who just passed away uh, back about 20 years ago, and he hadn't uh, he hadn't really comprehended this. And he Eustace had written uh, the book, The Secret of the Federal Reserve, back in the early 50s, but he hadn't really connected all the dots. Uh, back in the 80s, after Nixon deregulated gold, gold mining just blossomed and exploded worldwide. And where was all that gold going? It wasn't being bought by Joe Sixpack because he didn't have enough money to buy it. It was being bought up by the Federal Reserve Bank with those $100 bills that they were going to the U.S. printing press or the printing office, and they were buying $100 bills at that time in, in 1984, I'm thinking of that year in particular. They were buying $100 bills for 2.6 cents apiece. How much gold would you have bought if you could bought $100 bills for 2.6 cents apiece? Unlimited. Where is all that gold? They use it to manipulate and drive down the gold market going to find out where it's at i i i'm so sure that this is coming uh you know it's past my uh time when i can work on it that much but i'll tell you there are people out there that are working on this very very good quality people that are working on this and when we find all that gold and there's um there's thousands of tons of it and it is going to be ours. It's and that's got to worry the system. That's got to worry the system to know there's all these millions of investigators crawling over everything they're doing. They're, they're, they're sticking their nose into everything. And, and uh, uh, you know, I, I can sit on the sidelines now, and I'm the cheering section. Uh, and I'll be cheering them on. And uh, so uh, we're going to find out where is all of that wealth, and I think there's enough to uh, uh, just uh, absolutely restore this country back to its position where it belongs as the, 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 the freest, most, most free people on the face of the earth. Absolutely. Red, we're out of time. Uh, how's your health, my friend? You sound great. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm surviving, and as long as I can keep stimulated as I am, I think I'll be, I'll be pretty hard to knock down. <laughs> so uh, it's not been good, but uh, for 81, I'm, I'm uh, doing quite well. You're still kicking. You bet. Let me I'm say bye kick, to you. I, I'm going to kick butt after I'm gone. <laughs> what a man. Let me say bye to you during the break. Mark Dice coming up. Major coup against the enemy operation. Stay with us.